Hi, today I'm going to talk about uh, uh, Linux memory. Uh, so this is, a, I think, a funny picture I found from the internet. Uh, Linux ate my RAM. And uh, don't panic, your RAM is fine. So, okay, so specifically today I want to talk about uh, uh, out of memory management uh, in the Linux kernel and um, the so-called uh, OOM and uh, so this is a this is a, a book written by the Linux uh, developer uh, Linux virtual memory developer uh, this is a pretty good information to explain how the uh, Linux uh, auto memory management works. Yeah, so it's it's good to read about it. And uh, so I'm going to show you a real example about Linux uh, uh, out of memory uh, logs. So this is a uh, this is a, a logs from a big IP uh, running uh, uh, Qmu uh, guest uh, KVM guest. So this is a hypervisor, the Linux uh, host hypervisor running on the big IP uh, uh, vpron platform, and uh, so. Uh, the 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 big IP running out of uh, memory and it started to uh, killing uh, process. See the log here. It's, it says kill uh, select the Java process and uh, kill it. So when the Java is killed, and it has a virtual memory size about 388 megabytes, uh, rest in the memory about 241 megabytes. So at that point at time, uh, the kernel thinks Java is the, is the biggest me uh, memory uh, usage process selected to be killed and uh, so let's look more about these logs in detail and uh, there are a lot of stuff in here I'm not going to uh, uh, address uh, every one of them uh, but just uh, for some for you to understand uh, so start from the first log it would show you uh, what process invoked the uh, kernel memory OOM keener so here it tells you uh, our thing in this case is the process invoked OOM keener uh, because it it's trying to allocate memory uh, with this, this is like get a free page uh, uh, bit mask, uh, which basically tell you uh, our sync uh, trying to allocate memory from uh, through the kernel uh, through uh, from which load or zone to get the memory free memory, and this is how how. How big the memory request is. So order two meaning uh, it's uh, power of two, and um, so four, which is four, and then but the the kernel memory is like is uh, in a four k page size unit. So this is like uh, sixteen uh, kilobytes memory. So this is the OOM score, 
that is for the OOM Kinner to QA process based on this OOM score. OOM score. Yeah, so so in this case, it's our sync process invoked the uh, trying to allocate allocate a memory, but uh, not enough memory, which triggers the OOM Kinner to select uh, select the Java process to kill to uh, to uh, release some memory. Uh, so that's one thing you uh, you needed to be aware, and. Uh, So this is uh, just the uh, kernel stack. Uh, when when rsync trying to allocate a memory uh, and uh, invoke the auto memory keener. So the next section uh, again uh, first is the uh, is this process, then the, the stack trees here, then the memory info about the kernel, the current kernel and the process memory usage. And here, so how do you read it? Uh, so this is the, the overall system uh, uh, memory usage uh, for all the uh, internal virtual memory uh, uh, internal counters this tells you uh, 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 each node, each zone, and uh, uh, for each page's usage. Uh, keep in mind the the kernel memory is uh, is uh, managed uh, through like a load. First is load, then in each node there a memory zone called the like DMA zone, D, uh, DMA zone, uh, for example, like say load zero DMZ, DMA zone, load zero DMA32 zone, and uh, load zero LOMO zone, which is basically for uh, user, Linux userland application to allocate memory from. So the DMA32 and the DMA is normally for driver uh, device access, memory access. So in this case, it has load 0 and uh, load 1. So load 1 only has a low model. And the following those are the, are the pages uh, um, for different uh, uh, like the active anonymous page, uh, which uh, most of cases for uh, application uh, uh, usage, and also active file, inactive file, which is uh, uh, a memory map for a file uh, on the disk. So those are the, and then here it shows you in each zone uh, how many uh, pages left uh, for each order. So for example, in load zero Loma zone, there is um, uh, this is uh, like a one uh, one four k single four k page. So each page. Uh, is four k in size, so this is order zero, which is order zero, uh, two to the power of zero. Uh, so this is order zero pages. It has uh, thirty five forty nine uh, for order one. It it is four k eight k size. It has uh, eleven thirty, and uh, this is for order um, uh, order one. 0, 1, order 2, uh, 16k. So the rsync trying to allocate order 2, which is 60k page size, has 132. Yeah. And uh, uh, usually, if you see a huge number of uh, uh, 4k 
uh, 4K pages uh, on a long running, a long run, on a long up running system, uh, and there are very few uh, big, very very few small, uh, uh, small um, small number of uh, uh, big uh, pages. Then it it means that the system memory is fragmented. And uh, yeah. So another thing you need to pay attention is the swipe, swipe the usage here. Here it says uh, free swipe is zero. All the swipe memory is used, uh, which is not a good. And uh, this uh, a lot of uh, big IP had this uh, free swipe zero problem. And uh, So following here is the is the uh, the kernel dump the OOM kernel dump uh, all the uh, memory usage for for each process running on the Linux uh, system and uh, so this is the virtual total virtual memory size rest in the memory size and uh, swipe uh, uh, entry pages entry for per process. And uh, so if you are troubleshooting while all the swipe uh, is used and the zero free, uh, you should pay attention to this uh, column uh, that will show you uh, which process use the most uh, uh, swipe memory. And uh, yeah. So, and so how right the own killer so I can show you what the where is the actual in the kernel code uh, in this for the OOM killer uh, so if you want to check the kernel code for OOM this is a uh, this is uh, under the kernel source directory, uh, mm directory oomkill.c is the source code for this oom. So if we look at this source code, uh, as you can see, the oom kinner logs here, right? The OOM Kinner, the same log message right here, and uh, it dumps the dumps the stack and uh, dumps the tasks, right? And if we look at the dump of dump tasks, it shows you the. Uh, total virtual memory swipe swipe entries. So that's the source code uh, for the OM uh, dump. And uh, one thing I wanted to want you want you know is that uh, you can actually tri manually trigger a OOM uh, and uh, before the kernel triggers triggers the OOM. For example, um, if I run this code, if I run this command, so first thing you uh, first you need to label this uh, sysrq uh, magic key. Right. If you, you label this magic key, and then you echo this, echo F to proc uh, sysrq trigger, it will uh, manually trigger a OOM and it dumps the kernel memory. So you have a, a picture of, of overall memory usage on the system. Uh, for example, uh, right now I have uh, uh, 
I'm running a CentOS uh, Linux, and I'm running a Kevin uh, hypervisor on the Linux on the CentOS uh, with one guest running. Uh, so I have a, a virtual machine running on this uh, Linux uh, CentOS Linux host. So if I manually trigger the OOM. Uh, uh, it will kill this uh, kill this virtual machine because this virtual machine has the largest memory usage, and uh, we can see from the top uh, uh, this QMU KVM is running this uh, virtual machine, so it has the uh, fixed uh, virtual memory size, rest in the memory size, and if I manually trigger OOM, it will select this QMU KVM process. Uh, to kill, and uh, so if I do it now, uh, if I FF RQ, so you can then run the D message to dump the output, uh, the kernel OM output. As you can see here, it uh, selected the QMU KVM process to kill. Uh, because it has the largest uh, virtual memory and the rest in the memory. Um, and again, you can see the similar uh, uh, kernel output, uh, OOM output here. Right? The stack trees. So this actually shows you the manual OOM execution. So actually, I, I would like to uh, run this, trigger this uh, manual OOM execution, but, but instead of uh, uh, select a process to queue, uh, like on a production box, you don't want to manually trigger OOM and queue a process. Uh, so I think uh, I have an idea. Maybe we can uh, patch the OOM killer uh, for manual OOM uh, execution. Like uh, just dump this kernel memory, just dump uh, those kernel memory usage per process, and uh, and uh, see what process it's going to select to kill, uh, but not actually kill it on a production box. I think that can be used for for troubleshooting uh, kernel memory usage on a production Linux uh, system, right? So yeah, maybe next time I can patch the kernel and see and uh, just to trigger the manual OOM execution without actually kill a process.